Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of Prismata. I'm gonna jump in the queue here, and I wouldn't be surprised to find we match against Emsven. I saw he was online, but not playing. But no, we got Meowth. Uh, certainly an easier opponent than Emsven, although by no means a pushover. Kind of a weird set. There's not really any compelling attackers, but a couple of... Flexible Econ units? Well, you kind of want all the colors, because, like, blue is good for Ebb, and... Green... Like, if you, you, you kind of want red just because it has the best attackers. And if you have red, don't you want green? And like, hey, that works well with uh, Thunderhead? I don't know about that. Um, I think the bigger question is, like, how much econ are you going to get? And I don't know, like 15 or 16 maybe? With, like, no real absorbers and a mild defender in terms of like fibroid and like you've got ebb to sell your drones back so you get like a brief spike and stuff given that you're getting like 16 econ how much of it can you spend like what, what can you buy with that I mean, you could get, like, a wall, a Tarsier, and a Fibroid pretty comfortably. That's only 12, to be honest. You can get a bit more. Maybe two Tarsiers for a while, and... Throw in Gauss Cannons briefly. Um... DDC seems all right. I think that by going high econ opponent may be giving me a pretty good Thunderhead. I mean, it's not super high econ because you can always Vivid, like, yeah. What if I got 1C here? I buy Ebb and then Thunderhead? It seems a little too fast. I think I want Ebb first. And then what? Maybe it's not too fast. And maybe instead of Ebb, I could even get a Splitter. I presume opponent's getting Ebb here. Like, it feels a bit bad to float for. Actually, so like... Yeah, I can't quite do this, is the problem. Um, it might just... Actually, it should be fine to get Ebb and then Thunderhead. Um, opponent can get one attack for free with a Splitter, but like I don't need the NG for much of anything, so that's fine. They're going to try to punish me by just, like, not attacking. Which is a thing you're entitled to do if you want. But I get to build several attackers while this is going on. I 
I think opponent just like has more econ than the set justifies. And I want to try to show that to be true by building more attackers. You'll be up in econ, but I'll have attack, and the only soak you have is wall, really. Double animus. Wow, the plays. Okay, I mean, my life's going to be a bit awkward coming up soon, but I have, you know, a lot more attack. Yeah, I think I want to keep selling drones. I need to win pretty quickly. Oh, I didn't need that. F yeah, I need. I needed the force field. They were defending their nitros. Okay. I mean, I'm a lot more breach proof as well. But they have some good soak with all this stuff. I don't know, it'll be interesting for sure. I mean, I, I guess I'm, I'm breach proof now? <laughs> How much attack is opponent losing here? They get to absorb onto something and keep two attack alive, so... That's at most keeping, like, these two, which is losing four. I mean... This probably defends. I think I'm losing, but I don't know. Maybe I'm not. I think I am, though. I think it's important to protect the Vivids, even if it means I attack a little bit less. Keeping them for one more turn buys me a lot. All right, there goes the gas cannon supply. Yeah, I think opponent just has enough defense here. Why would you not breach the vivids? You're just trying to show me that you won. Okay, opponents decided they can't afford that kind of rude play. I assume he emoted me somehow. I don't really understand what went wrong here. I mean, I guess the Thunderhead was too early and didn't really do enough. Maybe I could have reacted to opponent ignoring my damage by just saying, all right, I'm going to build SGG every turn, right? I have, well, no, I have 15 income. But this turn I can build SGG, and the next turn I can click Eb to build SGG, and I continue threatening Thunderhead while not actually building it. And so I have, like, permanent attack for longer. I mean, the other obvious problem is that, like, the best attacker in this set is Tarsier, and I didn't get any. But I just don't understand why opponent was able to get so much econ when the set clearly, in my opinion, does not justify it. It means I didn't build the right stuff. I 
I mean, let's let's just briefly look at like how much how different my life would be if I'd done this. Right. Opponent builds a wall here and and they build like as I recall a million ebbs or not ebbs drones. I don't know. Did they do this? Who knows? Let's say this. And I do something similar, but I get the Thunderhead later. I don't even need this, right? Now is about the moment when I kind of have to stick the Thunderhead if I want to get value. And I guess they kill my NG? I don't know. This is sort of like the line they took. I don't know. I wanted to get an Animus at some point, but I had so much tech already that there was really no, no reason for it. I don't know. They're not getting this, right? Like... They were going like for a lot of econ since their attack doesn't matter against me at the moment. I shouldn't have bought this NG. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, right, they needed a wall and a force field. I don't know, it still feels like I should just be buying Gauss cannons. Did I make them attack with Splitter? I did. Well, that's not very good. Yeah, okay, I forgot to make them get an animus. I don't know, this line has sort of fallen apart for them. But the important thing is that the end, like at the end of my Thunderhead, I have like a ton of attack. I don't just have like six, I have like 12. By, yeah, I, I think I just, I got my Thunderhead too early at a time when they could easily deny it value by just droning. And I didn't have enough to follow through behind. Whereas if I'd taken this turn and said, okay, you know, Thunderhead's not doing much, but you're not attacking me, so I don't need Thunderhead, so I'll just buy attackers, and then buy more attackers, and then buy a Thunderhead finally. I think that would have worked a lot better. All right, let's try to get another game in. The system. Base plus five, 45 seconds. Hmm. Two big defenders, but uh, some pretty good freeze for it. So I think you kind of have to get green. And the best attacker is red. Uh, 
Is red green good enough to beat like blue? Not all by itself. I think everyone has to get some blue. I don't know if you can actually get in like a defense grid, but you should be able to get at least infusions. Perforator's good soak, obviously. So you don't have to commit a ton to red. You can like buy some Tarsiers and then stop. But it's it's a big big investment even to turn off your opponent's defense grid if they buy it, right? You have to be like buying a Nevo per turn and also have bought two cryos. Like it's not the hugest thing, but it's it's pretty substantial. I don't know. I think that it's it's worth going for the big blue stuff. And you can like get an animus, buy a few Tarsiers, and then convert the red to perforators. Like, I'm still not sure about whether you get defense grid, but even if you're just getting infusion and perfs, like I think that's enough justification for a third engineer. And uh, green is very valuable this game, so I think that I will get green uh, before blue. There's not much rush to get out like uh, an infusion grid or something. Like I don't think I'll ever want a second conduit, but I do want to accumulate some green. And I want to get started on Tarsiers, in fact. So next turn I have 21, I build 8 on Tarsiers, and a Forge is 13, leaves me 8 m yeah, leaves me 8 more. Two drones? Sure. Yeah, I'm, I think we can afford an infu or a defense grid. It'll take a while, but like with perforators, we should be able to make good use of the red. Do I need to replace my NG? I don't think so. I think I'm just getting like a wall and more Tarsiers next turn, which is like 13. Leaves me 10 bucks. If I bought an NG, it would only be eight and I couldn't buy three drones. So I might, might as well float. Now, next turn, I don't think I want to buy more forges yet. So I do just want more drones. And maybe perforators, maybe tarsiers, I'm not totally sure. And on the turn after that, I think I'll get forges. Probably should click that splitter. <laughs> I assume they will, yeah. Not the kind of play an opponent would miss, but you know, one can hope. Maybe I do want the forges next turn? Yeah, I think this is about the time to spring for a defense grid. Uh, how many perfs do I need for that? Could I, could one of these be a Tarsier? Like they're going to have around seven or eight attack actually, probably. So maybe the splitter should be a grid.
I could hold one perf. Maybe force field if I have to. I think I'll be okay this way. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, obviously you get all the cryos, sure. No, I have to hold this back. They can freeze all the NGs if they want to make me lose splitter onto grid. Actually, they can freeze just one NG to do that, so I think a force field is useful. Now, I mean, they can still freeze grid, but at least I'm not wasting as much. Yeah, I am wasting just as much damage as if I held this back. But then I don't really need the force field exactly because it's sort of okay if they force me to lose something awkward. Yeah. I guess this should have been another cryo, but like two is kind of the the amount I actually want. This is an exploit, but it costs them three cryo charges. I think I'm not in good shape. <laughs> yeah, why did I not buy more cryos. I just got kind of lost, I guess. I believe that that is a good attack, right? They get a mild exploit, or rather I get a mild exploit. They're obviously freezing the grid here and then attacking for six, but freezing the grid, like they have, they have full freeze, so I do need to respect that. It turns out true cryos was the number I needed, but like, why wouldn't I want three? I don't know. It's a mystery. No, you must buy an Evo. Uh, what? Why would you ever not buy an Evo at this point? I mean, I guess it only does three damage, but that's a lot more than zero. Right, one Nevo and three cry two cryo charges to deal three damage? Like that has to be worth. Maybe one of those splitters should have been a grid, but actually since they forgot to buy the, the Nevo, like I think I'm okay. What is this? Oh, they're just choosing not to attack? I guess. Not sure why. I mean, that's why they didn't want the Nevo, apparently. They weren't planning to damage me this turn.
So how's this attack doing? They get to keep five health alive. So they get to keep all these. So the 12 attack is real, but they only have... Well, they have five freeze, but... That's still just killing, like, grid NG NG. I can't imagine why you wouldn't buy Nevos here. I guess they're saving up for some big burst to kill me with their all their green? No, they just like are finally now doing it, I guess. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's true. I always forget about the granularity exploits that you don't necessarily need a Nevo for, whoops. Yeah, that's the correct freeze. Uh, also, I kind of need another conduit to make sure I can keep doing this. Fourteen and eleven, that is indeed twenty-five, and they have all of it. Whoops. Kind of an uncomfortable. No, they don't have all of it. They have 13 plus 11. It's 24. I mean, I'm still doing this. Right now, they get to keep two health. No, they get to keep three alive, which they can do. Hmm. I can't apply more freeze to make that better. Makes me very uncomfortable. They're keeping four alive, which they can obviously do in any number of ways. They have 13 on 11 is 24. So this defends. Oh shit, they actually bought a third Animus. This is a breach of my grid and I'm so dumb. Oh no, it's not because they have to use the Nevo on the grid. <laughs> In order to get full freeze value. <clears throat> full freeze value. But it is a breach of my infusion grid. Which is clearly great for them to take. Just saying. I didn't lose the uh, the big grid, at least. And actually, they're, like, short of cryos now? I'm not sure this is worth. They lose the ability to freeze grid anymore if they take this. Right? Like, that's kind of a concern. Right now, they're keeping three alive. I could spend two to kill the rhino if I want. But I don't really want that. Uh, they do have the full 22. Uh, this... I need a cryo this turn and a cryo next turn. No, this is enough to keep the grid frozen. Another conduit for force fields and stuff. This should probably be a 
grid actually. I'm not sure what they're gonna do with that Nevo. Cause they don't actually have the full freeze, right? They can only freeze for five. Five and 16 is 21. I still want all this stuff, I think. Did I freeze Engie? Why did it look like an Engie was frozen? If I did that, it was a mistake. I thought I unclicked all my unnecessary cryos. Ah, sure. You can buy another conduit next turn to freeze my grid. Sure. I want extra grids so they can't um, deny me a, a good absorber, basically. I mean, they're going to freeze the grid, so fine. Wait, this Nevo is dead? I don't understand what they're doing. They're not freezing anything. Okay. No, 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 don't. I'm not done yet. Wait. I don't know, something weird happened to them with Nevos. They clearly got confused at some point. Maybe this was too greedy, just too many attackers. Like, should have been another grid here. We'll see. It does look that way, though. How much attack are they losing? Probably one, possibly none. 18 and two, so 20. That's probably enough force fields, right? I don't know, get an animus for rhinos? By NGs and then do that next turn. All right, those Nevos are kind of an issue. Maybe I should have bought some myself. They're losing at least one attacker, probably two. That's still a lot. This is eight freeze. 28. Yeah, definitely should have been more grids. Okay, I'll try this.
God, those rhinos are killers. But they're not rebuying Nevos, which means I have a lot of defensive tempo all of a sudden stored up in these infusion grids. So maybe I can do something with that. Isn't that drone hold over defending? Oh, what? What did I miscount? I thought I accounted for their freeze. I'm like way under defended. This happens to me a lot in these high econ freeze games or like Apollo. And then I just get murdered. Oh, I know. I counted. I needed to discount how much freeze they had. And I did so by noting that the largest things they could freeze with Nevos were infusion grids. And I said, okay, they have eight freeze. But they still had cryos in addition to that. That was the problem. So this is disastrous, obviously. I can't buy anything blue. It's all gone. There you go. Drone. It's the only thing left to spend money on. Uh, hang on. Uh, yeah, I can't buy perf. Right. Maybe I should have just bought a second Nevo. That was probably better. I think I must be losing here, but maybe I somehow win on supplies? Like, they ran out of all their soak supplies sooner. But no, they have rhinos still. Hmm. And they've been using perfs better. Man, if I had held a perf back on that turn when they breached me, I would be in much better shape. But still not good shape, I think. I want three of these so they can't freeze me out of all my good absorb. Jeez. I'm so dead. I don't know. This seems like it must turn off some attack, right? I think that this game, at this point, is just waiting until I'm convinced that I've lost. There's no way I can ever win this, right? Why am I still here? Yeah, let's just go.
So... I mean, letting their Steel Splitter deal two damage to me kind of sucked. Maybe I should have gotten a Rhino early or something instead of the first Tarsier. But that feels pretty bad. To get a Rhino so early and then not attack with it for a very long time. I let them get some good Nevo exploits and probably missed some of my own, although actually they looked a bit more granular than I was. And I didn't get my cryo rays in time to be that impactful. I got them in time for defense grade, which is the most important thing, but I still missed out on some opportunities. I didn't really believe in their double animus, but... I mean, I still don't really get it. <laughs> Perfs are good, but you normally buy them for soak only because like it's red that you are stuck with that you want to get rid of. You don't go out of your way to buy an animus for more perfs. Did they see the supply problem coming so soon? Like this set has no attackers and a lot of defenders and therefore it's going to come down to defender supply and so you should make use of your perfs? I guess it was also just like, it let them attack with perf raiders and buy two Tarsiers, and then they sold it back by buying more perfs, so... They didn't just buy an Animus for perfs, right? They bought it to buy Tarsiers, even for just one turn, and then perfs, which is like, reasonable. Yeah, I made a number of defensive slips. Like here... Why did I do this? I actually don't see any reason. I think I just like... I remember noticing like, oh yeah, they can't freeze my, they can't breach my defense grid. And so this play isn't, like, as bad as it looks, but it's, I didn't, like, make this play for that reason. I noticed it afterwards. I made the mistake and then was like, wait a minute, my grid. They, they can freeze grid and breach infusion grid. I don't know what happened to make me make this mistake. I don't know. Oh, right, they got the third Animus, which I forgot about. It turns on their Perf Raider. I was counting this Perf as not attacking, because it didn't, it couldn't attack last turn, but it can attack now. Yeah, that was happened this turn. So that's a big mistake there. And they just made better use of Red Soak, getting good perfs and rhinos. Fueled by that second Animus. Ahead economically a bit the whole game as well, because I built an Animus first to get Tarsiers and had to cut a drone for it. And then I guess cut another drone at some point soon thereafter. No, I didn't cut a drone for Animus. It was more that I lost engineers to their splitter and couldn't keep droning, maybe? I don't know. Hmm. And like, I didn't really have time to calculate the, the Nevo freezes and and cryo rays and like I just held back defenders and hoped it was good enough um really just there's a lot to calculate in this game and I I didn't have time to do it I'm not a fast player especially if I have to play on YouTube <laughs> there's a lot of talking to do oh well that's gonna do it for this episode thanks for watching and I'll see you next time